In Maya, we have different menu sets that will change the main menu area uh, based on what we choose to work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at some of these different operations and how we can use them to our advantage. Over here in the status line, what we have basically is a whole bunch of different menu sets that we can choose. For example, if we're working on an animation project, say character animation or anything like that, we can switch to an animation menu set by choosing it here in this drop down box. When we do that, you'll notice that these right hand menus over here will change. The left hand menus here are the common menus and these don't change. Basically, from the main menu item file to window, these will not change. To the right of that, the right hand menus will change based on the menu set you choose. So for example, when I chose animation, these buttons stay the same, but the menu item to the right of window here, where it says assets and beyond, did actually change. So for example, when I choose animation, I'll have the assets menu, animate, geometry cache, create the formers, edit the formers, skeleton skin, so on and so forth. Notice when I change to say the polygons menu, the right hand menus changed again. So now I have the select menu, mesh, edit mesh, proxy normals, create UVs, uh, and so on and so forth. Same thing if I switch to say the rendering menu here, you notice that the right hand menus change again. So I get a lighting and shading menu, I get texturing, render, tune, paint effects, so on and so forth. So it's very important to understand those menu sets and how can you, you can switch from one to the other based on what kind of work that you're doing in Maya. Because Maya is so vast and so huge that it encompasses all kinds of different work from lighting and rendering to texturing and UV mapping, polygon modeling, subdivision surfaces modeling, and NURBS modeling, and rigging, and so on and so forth. Many times while working long uh, periods of time inside of Maya, you notice that you keep using and repeating the same commands and tools over and over again. So for example, if you're, use, if you're polygon modeling and you're using a polygons menu here, and say you use a lot of the edit mesh menu items here like extrude, and bridge, and cut faces tool, and some more of these great tools here for modeling, you may want to go ahead and tear the menu off so you can use it a little bit more conveniently. Instead of coming up here, hitting the menu, choosing extrude, and then working, then coming back, choosing bridge, then leaving the menu, and then working some more, that can get cumbersome and it can actually end up wasting a lot of time. So to work a little bit faster and easier, you can actually tear off menus inside of Maya. Let's continue using the Edit Mesh menu as an example. If I click on a menu item to open it up, you notice that there's this double line icon up here. This is the tear off line. If I click on that line, the menu tears off. And now I can actually click and drag this menu by choosing the name bar up here. And I can actually click and drag it and place it wherever I want in my viewport. And if you're working with dual screens, you can actually move it to your other screen while you continue to work in Maya in your primary screen. That way you don't take up and clutter up too much of your interface there. And then you can quickly choose some of these commands while you're working here in Maya and you can continue working on Maya. The menu will stay on top and it just makes things a lot easier and a lot faster for you to work with when working in Maya. And you can actually tear off any of these main menu items up here as you can see. They all have tear off lines that you can use to tear off. We can also tear off menus here inside of our viewport. So if we go to our viewport uh, menu panel here, some of these menus can actually be torn off. So for example, we can tear off the show panel right here. We can go to the shading panel. We can tear that off, place it wherever we want. And we can continue tearing off more and more of these menus as we find it necessary to do so while working in Maya. So again, this can kind of clutter up our workspace here. So it's a good thing to work with dual monitors. So you can go ahead and maybe move some of this stuff to your second monitor and use one monitor for all these custom menus and torn off menus while you continue to work on your primary monitor as your main monitor where you actually just do your work. So there you go. That's how you tear off menus in Maya and work a little bit more efficiently with some of the menus and tools inside of Maya.